Are there any downsides to using three to five units a day of growth hormone for men over 40 for strength and conditioning purposes? Well, G using growth hormone alone, it really doesn't it doesn't really build much muscle unless you have an outright growth hormone deficiency. What growth hormone is really good at is strengthening and protecting connective tissue. In other words, it'll help prevent injuries when you're training, if you're lifting heavy weights, and if you already have an injury, it'll accelerate the healing process. But when used alone, growth hormone is not very anabolic. Of course, if you use it combined with other anabolic drugs, such as anabolic steroids and insulin, like pro bodybuilders do, they take growth hormone, insulin, and steroids, there is somewhat of a synergistic effect where growth hormone does turn on anabolic. The problem with the pro use of growth hormone is they're using do dosages of, of 17 units and up, which is uncharted territory. And when you consider that the major product of growth hormone produced in liver called insulin-like growth factor one, it's a mit mitosis stimulator. In other words, it stimulates cell division. Cancer is, the hallmark of cancer is uncontrolled cell division. So now when you take large amounts of growth hormone, you're getting a huge amount of IGF-1 circulating. And again, you're open to possible cancer. Now, again, to be perfectly clear, I don't know of any bodybuilders on record that have gotten cancer from using growth hormone. Uh, there's one or two bodybuilders that got leukemia, but there was no really cause and effect direct uh, effect noted. Uh, but So that's something to consider. As far as the dosage, three to five units, this is a way above the therapeutic dosage given to uh, treat growth hormone deficiency in older people. And it's about f three to five times higher than the amount given to treat growth hormone deficiency in dwarfs, which is the actual medical indication for growth hormone usage. Uh, so, you know, you're still taking a pretty uh, large amount when you take three to five units. Uh, I would not recommend staying on this for any length of time if you do opt to try it, because you, the longer you stay on growth hormone, the greater chance of side effects related to a disease called acromegaly, which is uh, basically a growth of bones in your body that haven't sealed, such as this part of your head, your brow, your jaw, your tongue, your hands, that type of thing. Uh, if you stay on growth hormone too long, this can happen. Uh, the most common side effect of staying on growth hormone uh, is what they call carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, which is basically a thickening of the tendon that surrounds the ligaments in your wrist. It kind of impedes the nerve flow to your hand, and uh, usually in a, in a severe situation, it requires surgery to correct. Uh, again, all this relates to staying on growth hormone too long. If you do opt to ever try it, I would say to try it for a short term, no more than uh, eight weeks. And that's it for this uh, session. Uh, by the way, I can, uh, it's obvious I can't go into great detail in these videos, but for those of you who want extreme detail when it comes to topics such as nutrition, exercise science, supplements, anti-aging, fat loss techniques, ergogenic aids, hormonal therapy. Uh, I strongly suggest that you subscribe to my Applied Metabolics newsletter at www.appliedmetabolics.com. It comes out every month. I call it a newsletter. In fact, it's more of a monthly ebook, averaging 40 to 50 pages, no ads, just pure evidence-based information. I absolutely guarantee you will learn something any mistaken notions you have will be relieved if you regularly read my, my newsletter. And uh, it's all this at a cost of 33 cents a day, cheaper than a daily newspaper. Thanks for watching, and keep sending those questions in. I will respond in this video format. Take care. Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you who want a really good friend, take my advice. Adopt a dog at a shelter. I have two of them. They're my best friends. They're the most loyal beings you could ever encounter. Save an animal. This week's topic is Photoshop muscles. Oh, God. How much I want to know how, how much, I feel about that. How much of that is going on? I don't know. First of all, all I, social media. What? <laughs> all all these, social media. All these athletes getting caught. With their with their Photoshop pictures and fake ass bodies and these big companies making all this damn money off of all the people that want to look a certain way and they really ain't looking the way they they're, they're portraying to look. What are your thoughts on that? Well, first.